Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject of system analysis based on the KTU syllabus and we are on module 5 and today we are going to discuss the optimum load dispatch including transmission losses. So in the previous video we have discussed the optimum load dispatch neglecting the transmission losses in the case of an urban cases and all and today we are uh, going to consider the transmission losses. So when energy generator is to be transmitted to longer distances uh, with low load density, the transmission losses have to be considered. Okay, in most of the cases, power is transmitted to longer distances. So in that cases, we have to consider that uh, losses. Okay. So here uh, you can see two weight nickel generators are connected to a tra transmission link. So normally. Uh, if the generators 1 and 2 are having identical incremented cost of production the two generators will share load equally okay so uh, it will be economical if the generator 2 could supply most of its load because generator 1 has to supply transmission losses in addition to the load so uh, so that's a special case so sharing load by equal incremented production cost okay production does not hold good in this case okay good here while we are considering the losses and all so one of the generator has to supply transmission losses in addition to the load so that's the main reason and the optimal load dispatch problem including the transmission losses is defined as the minimum ft is equal to sigma n equal to 1 to n fn okay where ft we know uh, it is a fuel input and uh, subjected to pd plus pl minus sigma n equal to 1 to n pn is equal to 0 where pd is the uh, load demand we know that is and uh, pl is the total uh, system loss okay here we are considering the loss so pl is a total system loss and uh, pn is the corresponding uh, generation of each of the generators okay so uh, making use of the lagrangian multiplier lambda the auxiliary function is given by f is equal to ft plus lambda into pd plus pl minus sigma pn so the partial differential of this expression when equated to zero gives the condition for optimal load dispatch that is for finding optimal load dispatch uh, while we are considering the losses we are to differentiate this equation and should equate to zero so while we are doing the differentiation the dot of by dot pn is equal to dot ft by dot pn plus lambda into dot the, this pd we are considering it as a constant so uh, the differential value will be zero so uh, lambda into dou pl by dou pn minus this pn will be here so that is dou pn by dou pn will become one so lambda into uh, dou pl by dou pn minus one is equal to zero so dou fn by uh, so bfn by dpn plus lambda into dou pl by dou pn is equal to uh, lambda here okay so here the term do pl by do pn is known as the incremental transmission loss at a plant n and lambda is known as the incremental cost of received power in rupees per megawatt hour okay so the uh, lambda here okay this lambda here is the incremental cost of received power okay that is uh, the generation plus uh, the generation should meet the losses also okay that's the reason why and the equation 9.6 is a set of n equations with the n plus one unknowns here n generations are unknown and lambda is also unknown these equations are known as coordination equations because they coordinate the incremental transmission losses with the incremental cost of production Okay, so so uh, to solve these equations and all the loss formula equation okay uh, we are using here is expressed in terms of generations and is approximately expressed as PL is equal to sigma m sigma n pm bm and pn where pm and uh, pn are the source loadings and bm is equal to transmission loss coefficient okay 
so uh, in this method also we are using some iteration method to uh, solve the linear equations and all so the some steps we are following in the iterations so the first step is assume a suitable lambda zero so this value should be more than the largest intercept of the incremental production cost of the various generators okay so in the previous video we have uh, shown the same step okay we have seen the same step there okay and uh, the second step is calculate the generation based on equal incremental production cost first you have to calculate the generation based on the equal incremental production cost here and the third step is the calculate the generation of all the buses using the equation okay pn is equal to 1 minus fn by lambda minus sigma m not equal to n 2 bm and pm divided by fnn by lambda plus 2 bnn okay 2 bnn so this is the equation for pn here and uh, the fourth step is check if the difference in power at all generator buses between the two consecutive iterations is less than a prescribed value okay less than a prescribed value the prescribed value is the tolerance value we are considering it as a epsilon here so uh, we are checking for two consecutive iterations okay that is let it k pa k, pa k is one of the iteration and pa k minus one is the uh, just before of this pk okay two consecutive iterations we are considering here okay so we have to check the difference in power at all generator buses between two consecutive iterations is less than this value sigma sorry epsilon okay if not go back to step 3 calculate losses using the relation pl is equal to sigma m sigma n pn bm and pn and calculate delta p is equal to sigma pg minus pl minus pd if delta p is less than our tolerance value uh, epsilon stop calculation and calculate cost of generation with uh, these values of powers okay then the last step is update the value of lambda and go back to step 3 okay so this is the steps we are following and this is the entire flow chart so uh, for clearly understanding the flow chart we are splitting that into two so here you can see it clearly okay so it will start and uh, read in uh, fnn okay steps follows uh, the second step is read uh, fnn fn pd pn minimum pn max then assume a suitable value of, of lambda and delta lambda determine pn corresponding to incremental cost of production these steps are same as we have discussed the case of a uh, economic load dispatch uh, by neglecting the losses okay then here we are using another variable k and n okay so set k is equal to 0 then set n is equal to 1 then solve for pn okay we are using the equation for pn we have discussed in the earlier slide pn equation for pn okay so if pn is greater than pn max then we will set pn is equal to pn max and if pn is less than pn minimum pn is equal to uh, pn minimum okay and uh, we are increasing the value of n is equal to n plus 1 so uh, these steps are also okay the same as in the previous case and check if all buses have been accounting okay so if yes we are moving to the next step otherwise we are moving to the previous step Okay, previous step and again we are we will uh, solve for this pn and here if it is yes if it is yes we are checking for the two consecutive iterations whether the value is less than our uh, epsilon if yes we will calculate pl and delta p okay if no we will increment the value of k is equal to k plus one and again we will be uh, doing the steps okay that is the steps here and if delta p okay if delta p is less than or equal to 
our value tolerance value epsilon if it is then print the generation and calculate cost of generation and if it is no we have to calculate delta pp such as, such as it is equal to sigma pg minus pl minus pd and uh, if this delta pp is greater than zero it and zero then we will reduce the value of lambda as lambda is equal to lambda minus delta lambda if it is not we have to increment the lambda as lambda plus delta lambda okay so here in delta ppp we will uh, calculating the generation pg pg is the corresponding generation value minus pl minus pd okay so uh, delta ppp less than zero means okay less than zero means the generated value of power okay is not sufficient to meet the load demand and the losses so we have to increment the value of lambda here okay so that's why the steps comes here okay so this is the uh, entire flow chart okay entire iterations for economic load dispatch including the losses i hope all of you understand the topic well so thank you